What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Faithful Studio and today we're going to do something a little bit different. I need to talk to you guys about shaving. Whoa, you're saying shaving on a beard channel. Well, what I mean is lining up our cheek lines and maybe trimming your neck. It just depends on what you trim up on your beard. And I had a company reach out to me uh, called Naked Armor and asked me to review their straight razor. Now, I have been getting into straight razors to trim up my cheek lines for a little while now, and I have like three or four of them. So I thought, why not test it out and see what I think of their straight razor? So they sent me out this pretty cool looking box here. Check this out. It's a pretty cool looking box and wanted me to check it out, review it for them. And so that's what we're going to do today. So stay tuned, hit that thumbs up, that like button, and that subscribe button, and we're gonna get into this right now. So as you can see, we have this nice box. It's got uh, this black box. It's got some nice branding on it. I really do like their logo. I think it's pretty cool. You got a straight razor there. Let me just take the top off here and get it up here for you all to see. So there you go. Pretty cool looking thing. So you open this up and then you have some felt in there. And then realistically, let me just kind of see if I can show you guys here. This is what we have in their shaving kit. And that's the straight razor that fell out. So you have this, you got a wood comb here, you got a boar bristle brush, uh, some scissors, a line, uh, some balm oil, and you got a lineup guide here. So let's just walk through these real quick, one by one, and I'll tell you what I think about them. So first and foremost, you have this lineup guide here. Uh, it's kind of meant to kind of line up your cheeks if you want. It's got uh, a comb on it. But the thing is, is it's metal. So I ran this through, I mean, it's, there you go. But it's metal and it feels kind of sharp. So I ran this through one time and I never ran it through again. It felt like it, it pulled a little bit and if you have a longer type beard or really any beard at all, you don't want to be running these bristles through your beard because they're going to catch snags on your on your hair. It's going to damage your hair a little bit. So I don't think this is necessarily a good solution for lining up your uh, cheek lines um, being made out of metal material here um, and it's a little bit jagged. So we're going to put that right back here in this box. And then it comes with this pair of scissors here. Now these are a pretty long and decent sized pair of scissors here. Uh, they feel solid, they're not flimsy or anything like that. So these uh, are something that I will continue to use. I like them to trim up my mustache or any flyaways that I need to trim on. And they just feel really solid and nice. Um, they're pretty sharp. They're sharp enough to get your standard uh, beard trimming, um, getting those flyaways uh, under control with these. So we'll put these right back in the box here, but these are really solid and nice and something that I would use. And then it came with this uh, wooden comb here. And in the beard world, we know that wooden combs uh, are, I mean, they're around a lot, but some are good and some are bad. So if we do the the test on this to see if it breaks. I mean, it feels pretty solid to me. No branding or anything like that. Uh, the bristles here, the tines are smooth and it goes through the beard really smooth. So again, this is something that I'll keep in my arsenal uh, and I see myself uh, using in the future. It also came with balm here. And as much as I like the look of it, I like their logo and everything and it's imprinted on there or stamped in there. So I really like that. I did not use it, and mainly because A, there's no scent, so I think it's a scentless balm, which is fine, nothing wrong with scentless balm, but there's no label anywhere to tell me what the ingredients are. So I don't know what's in here. And as a consumer, or somebody that gets this, I don't wanna have to go to the website and try to track it down. If I am gifted this, or if I were to go purchase this somewhere, uh, I want to know what's in here just by grabbing this off of here and not have to track down um, any sort of paperwork online or anything like that. So I didn't even use this and so I can't tell you the hold or anything on that but um, I'm not into putting things on my face or in my beard that don't tell me necessarily what the ingredients uh, in it are. And then it also came with uh, a beard oil here. So you have beard oil. And if you look at their labeling, their labeling really isn't bad. 
it's pretty nice. The only thing you'll notice is like right up here, the sticker is peeling off of the label. So the label is a little bit too big for the bottle. Looks kind of like they just slapped it on. But again, uh, the only thing I see on here is it just says beard oil, argan, and hemp. The beard way. So I don't think this is necessarily made by Naked Armor. I have no idea what the situation with it, this is. It says the beard way on here. And then it says argan and hemp. But again, I don't really know, is you know, how is it fragranced? Is it fragrance oils, essential oils? Is there anything in it? It has a little bit of a scent to it, but I feel like it's more the argan and the hemp oil. Um, is there any more oils in that in it than this? I, I really don't know, and I can't tell just from looking at the label. So if this is not a product by Naked Armor, and they're throwing it into their uh, box, you know, maybe just a little bit more uh, description, but the balm here does say Naked Armor on it. So are they producing it or is the Beard Way producing it? I'm not 100% sure and there's no clarification just by looking at this box that I received. So I take those types of things into account. It also came with this boar bristle, bristle brush here. And if you look, like trying to get it out of this package, it's almost like glued in there. I can't get it out. And so I'm gonna have to like, destroy the package or something along those lines maybe take the scissors here and kind of like pry it out let's just see let me do some more prying here there we go it popped out so it was held in there nice and snug i had to use the scissors to get it out but let me just show you this thing a first of all it's it's pretty soft um it's shedding everywhere um but b look at the size of it like this might be good I, I don't know, maybe it's good for your mustache, or uh, maybe it's, it's a touch-up if you have a pretty short beard. This isn't going to do anything with my beard, um, and really, I don't know that it's going to do much with a lot of people's beards unless they, you know, have a shorter beard. But, I mean, trying to hold this thing even like this, it's just like, it, it's really small, guys. It's two inches, maybe. Two inches long, so it's pretty small. So that's the gifts that I got. With that aside, let's look at what I really wanted to review from them and what I what they really wanted me to review. So they sent me out this beard care box, but the big thing that we are talking about here uh, needs to be the straight razor. So here's a straight razor. Now it looks really cool here. Um, you got their branding right up here. You got their logo, um, and it, it so it looks really cool. I like this sort of industrial stainless steel type look um, you could see all the way around here i'm just showing it to you here that it's silver it's a uh, kind of like a textured metal feel here and then you have your straight razor that pops out right here now a few things with this this does have interchangeable razors so you have the interchangeable razors it's pretty light um, you know, it, it, I would say it's pretty solid. I mean, I've, I have some that you can, can't even hold like this because they just fall down. Um, so this one, you know, you can kind of keep it straight across in the horizontal way. Now, with all that being said, as nice as it looks and feels, um, I went to use it the first time and I realistically was like, wow, this thing just doesn't work. It's not getting, you know, I'm having to go over the same spot a bunch of times. It's starting to hurt. It's pulling. Um, so I open this up and I changed out the, the blade. I put a different blade from a different uh, company in. Uh, this didn't come with any spare blades or any extra blades or anything like that. So I had some others laying around. I put that in and now we are golden. So I feel like the blade that it comes with isn't acceptable, isn't uh, doable for taking it out of the box and just using it right away. Changing out the blade and putting something else in there worked really well for me. Now I do really like the form factor, the feel of it, um, it feels well to me. I, I like the way it feels, but I need it to come with a blade that I can use right out of the package. Uh, so I'd give it a little bit of a ding for that, um, but I, I like the look and the feel of this. It looks sleek, especially for your modern uh, type. It looks really modern. It's not like a vintage look or anything like that. It's modern. Um, so in my bathroom, in my decor style, this this goes really well. Um, it's nice and light uh, for traveling. Uh, this could go in my travel bag. Overall, I don't know that I would necessarily purchase this gift set or this beard care box for somebody that's getting into the beard game. I think it might 
um, send the wrong signals for somebody that doesn't know a ton about beards and and is trying to get into the the beard game. At the same time, I think it could be a good step to get somebody to care for their beard that is new into the beard game. So I think you have two sides of it: is it could set the wrong example, but it also could get somebody more into caring about their beard. Would I buy the straight razor again uh, on its own? I mean, depending on the price. Um, I think it's a, a lower end uh, straight razor. I think there's better ones out there, um, but I probably would purchase this again on its own, um, bearing in mind that I really like the look of it, but I would need some extra blades. So if the price was right, I would definitely buy this alone. I wouldn't buy it in the kit at all. So I'd buy this alone for somebody um, and then just knowing what I know that it needs replacement blades right off the bat. So if you're gonna gift this, get them some replacement blades with it. But for the right price, uh, this is a good deal here. And that's about all. I mean, I, I really like the scissors. I think I would do the scissors again, maybe. Um, but again, it just depends on how this price gets broken down individually. This isn't a pack that I would purchase uh, for anything else in here. The only thing that I really feel is, is worth any value in here uh, would be the straight razor. Now, Again, in the bearded community, in the bearded world, we don't use razors a ton. I mean, we're trying to grow our facial hair, but use it to trim up the cheek lines. I have a unibrow. I can use it on my unibrow. So that's kind of where where I use uh, my straight razor for. And it's again, it's like a once a week thing just to, you know, bring any of these stragglers that might get up on my eyes uh, or up higher on my cheek line just to kind of bring my cheek line down and, and line it up. So... So that's what I think from what I got from uh, Naked Armor. Um, I really like the, the the idea of the company, the design, and the communication and dealing with them. I um, just wasn't a big fan with the box that they sent me, and maybe it's this particular box. I'm not 100% sure, but um, that's what I have for you guys today. So if you're in the market for a straight razor, you know, check out Naked Armor. You know, make the decision on your own based off of uh, what I told you. Just keep in mind you're going to need some replacement blades. So. Until I talk to you guys again soon, I hope you found some value out of this. Maybe I saved you some money. Maybe I exposed Naked Armor to you a little bit to where you can check out their straight razors if you've been in the market um, and make that decision on your own. I'm pretty new to the straight razor game. I got three or four of them, but uh, uh, the blades in this one just weren't for me. They didn't work for me, so I had to change out the blade. I do like the style of the handle. So until I talk to you guys again soon, check out some of the other videos I have here on this channel. Give me a thumbs up, a share, and if you like this beard content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that bell right now, and I will talk to you guys all again soon, and God bless you all.